Hi, Julian. Hello. Thanks for being here and um, thanks for coming in Venice. Oh, it's a pleasure. In this special <laughs> moment. Yeah, right. You come from UK and I know that the situation there is like Italy, maybe yeah. with less restrictions. Some, but probably more coming. More so, coming, yeah. more coming. UK yeah. is a little bit slow, you know. And um, today I would like to uh, give more information to our uh, uh, friends and art lovers about uh, your uh, research. Mm -hmm. Because we are presenting at the room in, uh, in our gallery in San Marco uh, an artwork that is a photo uh, of um, a woman, I think, mm -hmm. from the behi behind yes, yes. and with a red dress. And it seems for me, my impression, it was like a, a ritual mm. in a dance. But this is my only uh, uh, perception. I would like it's to know... Correct. Yeah, that's, it's, it's true. Um, so these um, ladies and men, they make part of a group called the Red Brigade that are part of the Extinction Rebellion. Okay. And they were going on a funeral march from Parliament Square to um, Marble Arch in London. And they were leading a procession, um, and they represent the blood that humanity has created on the planet. And so they want to raise awareness about the difficulties of climate change, social injustice, these things. Um, I was marching with them, I was walking with them. The sun was coming in the right direction. I managed to put my camera, I managed to find the right uh, angle to catch this rainbow uh, effect in the lens. And then I just positioned it so it kind of, she held, held the rainbow. And to me, it felt like this symbol of hope and beauty and, you know, the rainbow colors. Yes. This kind of powerful image as well for us today. So that was... And usually as a photographer, um, which, are, which are, if you have, mm -hmm. or if you have many interests, in, if, which are your subjects? So mainly, mainly um, so this is part of a street street photography okay. work that I do, uh, protest photography, I like to ah, do a lot okay. as well and kind of see these kind of cultural things. Otherwise I also do um, landscape photography, mm -hmm. so sort of nature, wild kind of spaces, and then also live music events, so yeah. artists at music festivals and things like that. In London and UK? And in the UK, yeah, so I travel around as well. Okay, and usually you uh, present uh, artworks as a uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So I present artwork, but I also create immersive spaces. So photography is one thing I do. I okay. also do uh, lighting design. Oh, wow. So it's um, immersive spaces with sound and light to create atmosphere. So and do where do, do you create these, uh, these are atmospheres? At, at music festivals a oh. lot, or um, in sort of installation art galleries or for events and these kind of things. Um, so yeah, I do a variety of different art forms and photography is something I've been doing for a long time But I'm trying to get more into sort of putting myself out there and you know exploring this medium Because together. photography always is a balance between uh, I see um, Doing a reportage mm -hmm. but many times um, and a, a photography uh, it, It's not necessary enough to in your case we presented your work as an artwork, yeah. because in our opinion, it was a part of a real uh, mm. uh, protest in that moment. Or uh, yes, yeah. Uh, but it, it was, uh, it is um, a, a completely an artwork, and uh, it represents. Uh, it has th that kind of uh, invisible uh, energy mm. that uh, jump a photo from a photo to uh, an artwork that you can contemplate, yeah. because there is a lot. Mm. behind yeah for sure and i think that that's what's beautiful about photography and and it's important to make that difference because now everybody can have a camera ah, you know, a, and everybody's the taking problem. pictures and then you know the idea of creating something from it you know not only the framing but then you're deciding how you're printing it what paper you're going to use you know all of these other things come into it and that's for me what makes it art and not just a and that you know, that's the, the research yeah, yeah the material the quality of the paper yeah, and the yeah. so many that many process that was very important for me was to be able to find them. so when i was printing I, you know lots of different types to see the texture and the effect and the one that i settled with the picture that, that yes. is on display it has this effect that almost makes it like a painting Almost, you know, it looks yes, kind it of is. It's different rather than this sharp image that you see on computer screens. It's not the same thing. I wanted to create something 
that was like a painting. Are you working now on something new or currently are you creating? So yeah, I'm developing um, a series, as I was saying, for uh, live events. So artists performing. Um, so Cape Tempest is a big uh, inspiration of mine. And um, for the last two years, I've been photographing uh, uh, concerts and events and stuff. So that's something that I want to put together in collaboration with her. And also I'm looking at more of my street photography now more than ever um, with the Black Lives Matter movement, the Extinction Rebellion, all of these things. A lot of people are coming onto the streets. And you have a lot of uh, this kind of uh, experiences in the street mm. uh, manifestations in London, a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. And it's important. And, you know, it's not that that will change, but it's the first step, you know. And when you see people come together and to share the same idea, the same passion, to me, then I feel like community. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And yes, I think that this is what's really nice. Um, and, and then you can capture these things. And it's this live moment as well. That's the thing that's most beautiful. It's what uh, um, I would like to ask you something. I don't know why, but uh, I'm uh, thinking uh, this uh, while uh, listening your uh, words. Um, during COVID time, mm. did you make did you make some photos, some series, or did you had the curiosity to make some photos of your city that is so yeah. wonderful? But what? Or, or are you still you know, thinking about this strange yeah. moment, how to represent it by photo? Correct, yeah. I haven't found the right thing. And, you know, there's so much happening that I want to take my time. Uh, you know, I don't want to rush and to do something just for doing it. Yes, you know, I yes, need to see what yes. comes out of this, this time. Because you work a lot with, photo with street photography, mm. I think that the, uh, this COVID time Mm -hmm. uh, will generate with your work, for example, an invisible mm -hmm. uh, way of living that will be part of yeah. a street life, everyday life, and so yeah. a lot of photographers and a lot of artists will change mm -hmm. their direction yeah. in express themselves mm -hmm. because many many things we usually were normal yeah. Yeah. are changing are just changing now. Mm -hmm. So so for me, it's, I, you know, I don't want to get too political with the work that I do. Yes, yes, yes. And that's one of the important things that it's, you know, this COVID has divided people in, in, in ways that has shown that we don't all think the same, but that we can't deal with people that don't think the same. You know, sometimes I'm talking to people, like my friends and everything, people are suddenly divided, like, oh, I believe this, I see this, and then the news and the doctors, the medicine, all of this stuff is, is too much, you know, to, to just much. take in. And so too for much. me, I just want to see what happens, how people react, and then, you know, find the right times to go out and onto these projects. No, because I'm thinking, for example, that the work that you are presenting, mm. it was a, a performance. Mm. All people together, now the same, if they do again, when they will do again, it will be completely different. Yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing. It would be the different, but the same as well, you know, like um, there are still parties happening, people still having <laughs> events and festivals, you know, it's like, that's what I mean by the divide, like some people close the doors and, you know, and pretend like, oh, I don't trust them, fear and scared, and other people are like, okay, well, this is the normal change, you know? Yes. Life is changed. They are adapting this, them Correct. themselves. Correct, yeah. And so for me, that's kind of what I want to look at. It's more on a positive side of things as well, you know? I think if I show art to be the negative side, sometimes that comes out. I do writing sometimes, and I've made some short films. Okay. And then a few, wow. few years later, the things happen in the film. One of them is that the air is terrible and we can't breathe. And then I was looking at this, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't write stuff that projects a negative future. So I'm trying to look at my art as being something that can uplift us. You know? Thank you very much for this conversation. That's it. And I much. hope to see you soon. Yes, yeah.